In the last Smash Direct, the final Smash Direct, two characters were revealed at the very beginning of the Direct, being Incineroar and Ken, and I wanted to talk about my initial thoughts on them after, you know, first off that trailer, but finally right after that there was so much more footage, and I've watched so much about these characters, and I just really wanted to give my piece on where I think those two characters stand in the meta. First off, just because it's easier, I'm going to talk about Ken. Seeing as he is an Echo Fighter of Ryu, a lot of things are similar to him. He has the auto turnaround, he has the spammable down tilt and up tilt, which is still very good. Uh, you know, his speed is different. They went over some things in the direct, so like he's faster but slightly less strong, and I kind of just wanted to weigh my opinion of why I think that is actually a bad thing. The reason Ryu is so threatening is because suddenly you're at 65 because you got hit by two combos because Ryu does ridiculous damage output, and now suddenly you are at death percent at 65 or 70. You know, being able to pressure your opponent with up tilt and down tilt off ledge are so frightening at almost any percent because he can nair into spike you, which I think Ken still has, but also he just has the ability to kill you at such early percent with things like up tilt Shoryu. Ken having a weaker Shoryu is still very strong, don't get me wrong, but it is, I think, from watching it like 15 to 20 percent weaker, that is an entire other neutral exchange. And the thing about Ryu and Ken, in my opinion, is that their neutral isn't that strong. They're not the fastest characters, they don't have huge hitboxes, you know, they have to struggle to get in, and yeah, a lot of their stuff is safe, but especially now with parrying, I don't know if that's going to be the case moving forward. In my opinion, Ryu is a good character because of how hard he hits, so even if Ken does hit hard, he doesn't hit quite as hard, so in my opinion, that is already a nerf, even if he is a little faster, which allows him to get in a little bit better. Unfortunately, I do not think his speed buff matters enough because he still has kind of stubby range, and so he's not going to be able to just like suddenly run all the way over there and get to you super quickly. Like, it's not that much of a difference. So his speed buff is helpful for getting in, but it's not helpful to the point where it outweighs uh, the power nerf. Another thing I wanted to talk about is the fact that I think his Tatsu is objectively worse. First off, both of them can kind of combo into with down tilt, strong down tilt, and then into Tatsu, but like having a strong move, it wasn't really punishable on hit as Ryu, so the multi hit doesn't really assist that, and it actually becomes worse for offstage purposes, and I'll explain why. When Ryu got hit off stage, he would Tatsu, and if you got hit by that, it would still be the same strength, incredible Tatsu, and it potentially kill people if you got a reverse hitbox, or it's just strong in general, you would get knocked away and everything would be fine. Ken, on the other hand, has a multi-hit move, so if you get hit halfway through the Tatsu, you're going to be doing less damage, it still doesn't have as much knockback, so they're still going to be able to, like, edge trap you or something like that, so objectively, I just think that's worse. Also, it's worse on stage, just in case you kind of, like, mess up your combo and you're trying to Tatsu through someone, because you can react with the first Tatsu uh, that hits your shield and then parry the second hit and then just kind of trail behind them and punish. Like, both of them are kind of bad in that case, because you can't just hit both of them, considering Ryu's won't have a hitbox if you shield it, but it doesn't make it, like, better, and that was a big point I saw a lot of people talking about. I was like, oh my god, it's harder to shield it, when that's not the case, because if you just understand how to parry it, it's going to be fine. Do I think Ken is going to be a strong character? Yeah, for sure, he's going to be a good character still, because Ryu right now looks like an amazing character, but in my opinion, there is almost no reason to use Ken over Ryu unless you really want that small speed buff, or just, you know, personality in general. Like, yes, Ken is going to have ridiculous pressure when it comes to his up tilt and down tilt on shield, the turn or the auto turnaround type of thing. I don't know if Ken is able to cancel his aerials into special moves like Ryu is, which, by the way, I just want to talk about that a little bit. Being able to cancel your aerials into special move is ridiculous. It is so dumb. Now, Ryu and Ken both will be able to pop shields so easily when it comes to, like, if you just have half shield, they can just back air into your shield and then top two, three, or your shield's going to break, and then they're going to be able to kill you at really early percents, obviously. Ryu a little bit earlier, which is, as I mentioned, a problem that I have with Ken, but still, that's going to be so dumb. Actually, thinking about it, it's actually better for Ryu because Ryu has stronger single-hit specials like Shoryu, like Tatsu. Those are going to be able to chunk shield a lot harder than Ken's will because they're multi-hit, so the shield pressure that Ken has is going to be less than Ryu. The damage output is seemingly less than Ryu. The kill potential is less than Ryu. It's like all just because he's faster. Like, I really don't think that's worth it. Next up is going to be Incineroar, and honestly, I was really hyped for that announcement because I wanted like a wrestling, like literal grappler type of character in the game, but looking at footage, uh, unfortunately, I think he's fairly lackluster. And I want to preface this because I'm not saying he's necessarily a bad character. I think most characters in this game are pretty good. Like, watching all of the footage, I'm going to have a tier list out for you guys, do not worry. Uh, but, like, I feel like there's so many, many viable characters. Like, I feel like everyone is kind of clumped into this one area, and I feel like almost every single character is there, Incineroar included. But yeah, a big problem I have with Incineroar is the fact that his recovery is really bad. He can't only do his upswing on his upbeat, so he has to come down. 
down. If you hit him any type of horizontally, his air mobility is awful, and so he's not really able to have like this real, you know, tricky recovery because he's gonna have to hold forward and then up B. And yes, his up B is strong, but I feel like that doesn't outweigh anything when it comes to his recovery. Like if you have a disjoint or a projectile that you can throw at him, it's gonna hit him at his recovery. It's gonna be so hard for him to make it back. And just in general, his disadvantage seems pretty lackluster. Like the only good thing about it is pretty much he has that frame three counter that then makes him a lot more powerful. But the thing is, even if he gets that, he is so slow to the point where he almost can chase no character down. They can just run away from him as soon as he's powered up because I think it's like 10 to 12 seconds of him being powered up. So it's not enough time to catch people considering just how slow he is. His ground normals seem okay. Larry, it's pretty good. I really like his side B command grab. I think that's one of the coolest moves in the entire game that has like three finishers, the success, the mild success, and then like the failure. That is so cool. His animations and his flair of the character, his personality shines through so hard and I wish he was a good character, but honestly just looking at all the things objectively, I really do not think so. He has decent aerials, but again, not a lot of them are multi-hit and they don't really kind of do anything in terms of like pressure because he's so slow that you can kind of just like back up and react to him and dashing back is going to be such a huge thing in Ultimate due to the ability for people to be like, dash back, oh it didn't work, dash back forward, you know, I'm gonna have my all my space back. Baiting opponents like that is going to be so important when it comes to Ultimate and I feel like in Cinema, because he's so slow, his dash speed, his run speed are so bad and his airspeed is also bad, he's gonna have a really hard time approaching a lot of characters, which is unfortunate. Yes, he does a lot of damage and yes, his kill potential is really good, especially if he gets his counter and then is able to hit you with something. It does like so much more damage, it is ridiculous. The knockback on that is dumb. He has a kill throw in terms of back throw, obviously his side B also kills, his some of his aerials kill, obviously his smash attacks kill, but I feel like it just doesn't coalesce into a real kit at the current moment. Something I do want to point out specifically is he is going to be a monster in doubles because the, the teammate can actually proc his counter and then he's more powerful. So like let's say for Pichu, I can shoot a thunder jolt and if it doesn't hit another opponent, he just goes, oh, okay, counter pop. Now I'm super powerful. Throw them into me. I'm going to kill them at 60. Like that's going to be amazing. I feel like he's going to be a very splashable teammate in doubles and I'm really looking forward to seeing him there because honestly, I do not think I'm going to see him in a lot of meta. And obviously this is just my opinion. The game can change when it comes out. It can get patched, all those type of things. But I really just don't see Incineroar being incredible and that's really unfortunate. Like again, his individual aerials are good, but I don't think it coalesces in to a kit, and I've said that already, that kind of makes him feel like a real character that he has options for so many scenarios, because honestly, watching him, and like a lot of the matches, admittedly, were from like newcomers, people like, oh my god, I wanna play Smash, I wanna play in Cinema, and they've never played the game before, so maybe that will change as better players play him, as people kind of figuring him out, and that is definitely a possibility, however, it just seems like his normals are lackluster, like they're strong, but he's not fast, like even like Bowser, DK, Ganon, Ike, like all four of those characters are faster, and they hit really hard, so why, well, makes Incineroar better, like why would someone play them over the heavy characters? Like I really don't understand what's better about that unless you really dislike his personality, in which case you do you, but I'm talking about from a metagame perspective. Like because Incineroar is so slow in the air and so slow on the ground, it just, it really, it doesn't even matter how good Incineroar's aerials end up being because this character just has no mix up when it comes to it because he's gonna run at you and then do something slow and like his tilts aren't good enough to really make up for it. Like he doesn't have amazing combo tilts like let's say Diddy Kong does or even like like Pikachu does or random characters like that. This character just kind of struggles to get anything started. Doesn't seem like a heavy combo character. Doesn't seem like it does that much damage even compared to like the other heavies like DK and Bowser. So I don't know. This character just seems to struggle a lot in basic aerials and I'm really not a fan of it. Like a character with that bad airspeed can't be good. Like a big thing about like pretty much every single Smash game is the fact that characters either have overwhelmingly good offensive options like if they have a bad disadvantage like let's say Fox in Melee, Falco in Melee, uh, you know, or they're just like good in disadvantage like a very few characters are like bad in disadvantage but also bad in neutral like he's so slow like I'm sorry that I keep repeating it but he is so slow it's gonna be so difficult for Incineroar to get anything done and honestly like looking at the footage it doesn't even seem like when he gets in he's able to do that much anyway it's like really really sad like honestly I want this character to be good but I really just don't think he can so unfortunately to me the last two character reveals were fairly lackluster in terms of tournament viable characters because I saw Incineroar and I was like oh my god he's awesome He's like a showboat, I wanna play him because that's kind of me when I play. But unfortunately, uh, after watching him, I'm like, ah, maybe not, I'll maybe mess around with him. Like I'm much more excited about, let's say, K Rule. So uh, yeah, that is going to be about it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed. As always, social media, Panda and partner stuff is down below. Since we're getting really close to Ultimate, the one thing I wanna ask you guys is what content do you want me to make when the game comes out? I'm planning on a few things, such as
because I'm bring, I want to bring back my deal with it and my stage selects, although that might take a little bit of time because people have to, you know, figure out the game, but it is something I definitely want to do. I want to make more casual content in terms of me playing online and all that, but let me know down below what ideas you have for me because I would really appreciate it because there is so much I want to do with Ultimate. I want to know what you guys want so I can stay focused on it. And yeah, we'll see you all next time. Bye.